Yes. Yes. Yes, Mr. President. I grant you that Barney Brook and I are not exactly standing on bread lines yet. No. No, I'm not asking for your help. I've never asked for any man any man's help, and I never will. Yes. But but I'm telling you, you've got to do something, and you've got to do it right now. All right. We'll talk about it on Friday. Friday. All right, Friday at the White House. All right. Goodbye, Mr. President. Mr. President, why don't we bury the hatchet? And, uh, and you and Ms. Roosevelt come here <coughs> for supper. Christmas Eve on your way to Hyde Park. Good. Fine. Goodbye, Mr. President. If I thought he'd say yes, I never would have asked. <laughs> Great. Yes, sir. Call, call Al Smith. Find out what it is that Democrats eat. <laughs> yes, sir. The uh, package oh. for Tiffany. Yes, sir. Right this morning. Bye. Bye. I am going to give this thing to her, and then I'm going to tell her I want to adopt her. Where is Annie? She's upstairs, sir, in her room, writing another letter to her friends at the orphanage. I'll have to call her. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Ugh. Sir, you don't have to be so worried and nervous. Annie's going to be the happiest little girl in the whole world. That's right, she is. And I'm not nervous. Get her down here. <laughs> okay. Great! Yes, ma'am. Mr. Warbuck, you see Annie now? Yes, ma'am. Miss Annie, Mr. Warbuck, we'll see you now. Thank you, Mr. Warbuck. Thank you, Mr. Warbuck. Hello. Hello, Annie. How are you today? Fine, thank you, sir. How are you? Fine. 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 Annie. <laughs> the time has come for us to have a very serious discussion. Oh. You're sending back to the orphanage, right? Annie. Can we have a man-to-man -man talk? <laughs> sure. Good. You see, Annie, I was born to a very poor family in an area called Hell's Kitchen, right here in New York. By the time I was 10, both of my parents had passed away. And I made a promise to myself at that time that someday, one way or another, I was going to be rich. Very, very rich. That was a good idea. <laughs> By the time I was 23, I'd made my first million. Within the next 10 years, I turned that into 100 million. Boy, in those days, that was a lot of money. <laughs> you see, making money was all I ever really cared about. And I have to tell you, Annie, I was ruthless to those I had to meet and to those I had to climb over to get to the top. Because I always believed in one thing. You don't have to be nice to those you meet on the way up if you're not coming back down. <laughs> anyway, lately I've realized something. No matter how many Rembrandts or Duesenbergs you've got, if you've got no one to share them with, if you're alone, then you might as well be broke and back in Hell's Kitchen. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Sure. Good. Kind of. Kind of? I get it. <laughs> Annie, 
was in Tiffany's yesterday, and I picked this thing up for you. Me? How safe was you were with such a nice tool? I had it engraved. Oh. It's a gold lock. I keep noticing this old broken lock, and you're always wearing it. I thought to myself, I'm going to get this kid a nice new lock. Gosh, thanks, Mr. Warbuck. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's just take this over. No! No! Please, don't make me take my lock off. I don't want anyone. What is it, Annie? Look it. My mother and father gave it to me when they left me at the orphanage. And it was a note, too. So coming back to me, and, and I know we can't wait to for Christmas and we have a but I don't know how to say it. The one thing I want in all the world, more than anything else, is to find my mother and father, and to be with ever kids with folks, folks of my own. <coughs> It'll be all right, Amy. I'll, I'll find it for you. I'll find your parents for you. I'll get her a drink. <laughs> you just see, Miss Annie. If anyone can find your parents, Warbucks is the man. Mr. Warbucks will find your mother and father if he has to pull every political screen there is to pull up to and including the White House. Yeah, the League of Nations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
DNA. Within a couple of days, you may be meeting your mother and father. Really? Really. Oh boy, I've got Losing her.